Today I'm ranking every 2024 protagonist, protagonist, I already did antagonist, from the year 2024 so far, so far. Okay, I'm gonna make another one at the end of the year with everyone, so don't freak out. Also, if I say, you know, the guy from Teletubbies the movie or something like that, don't get mad. Okay, uh, some of them, it's just a lot of names, alright? I remember the performance, I remember the character, how they made me feel, okay? The name's like the least important part. Starting off, we have, uh... Oh, you're so you're Katie Kyle or something like that. Whatever uh, the guys, the girl from Argyle. Who? Yeah, Argyle, dude. What a shame, dude. Ah, man, good cast though. Good cast. Not a good protagonist though. So yeah. Then we have the girl from uh, Chauncey the Bear. I'm gonna also put her in Who. Don't remember anything about her. Literally remember nothing. So yeah, now nah. this is kind of a joint one. I have the two girls from Drive Away Dolls. I like them. Margaret Qualley's really good. The other actress, I forget her name. She's pretty excellent too. It's a good dynamic. It's good chemistry. I like them going on this giant odyssey of them trying to track down a cast of Matt Damon. You know, if you've seen the movie, you know. Hilarious plot, first of all. I like this movie. I like this duo. B tier. I'm gonna be pretty harsh too, okay? So if I if I put your favorite character of all time in C tier, don't be a hater. Don't start crying, okay? Then we have Gary from Hitman. I'm also gonna put him in B tier. I, Glenn Powell's great. It gives Glenn Powell the chance to play like weird, you know? A lot of these different characters, a lot of weird and new characters for him. It's a really good role for Glenn Powell, and I think he's great. Fun character. Wolverine, I'm gonna put in A tier. It's a different version of Wolverine than we are used to, but he still gets a story that is, you know, hard hitting, but also funny. I like his relationship with Deadpool. And you know, just because I put this version of Deadpool in A tier. It doesn't mean that, you know, Wolverine overall is not an S tier character. Of course he is. Same thing with, uh, you know, Poe and other characters reoccurring. This is like in this new movie, right? So if I put Poe in, you know, F tier, it's judging him as a protagonist to just in Kung Fu Panda 4, not as a whole. So keep that in mind. And then we have Deadpool after that. This list is pretty random. I'm going to put Deadpool in B tier. I don't think he gets the emotional... Uh, strength and resonance almost that Wolverine gets, but he's still hilarious. He's still great. Ryan Reynolds is amazing. Gosh dang it, maybe I will put him in A tier. Deadpool's great. Okay, fine. He's still one of the most memorable characters of the year. I'll put him in A tier. He's a great protagonist. You know, he's good. Definitely not S tier, but I like him in A. And then we have King Kong from Kong and Skull Island meets Godzilla War of the Worlds. I'm putting him in D. Here's my thing with Godzilla and Kong, and I know a lot of people get mad at me for hating on this movie. I don't know, dude. I just, I can't tell you anything about Kong this movie. Kong's not a great protagonist at this point. He's kind of, you know, done all he has to do. Now he's just around to fight. That's about it. So, yeah. And then we have uh, Kristen Dunst from Civil War. I'm going to put her in C tier. She has a solid character overall. I would say I enjoyed her as a character. Again, I can't tell you too much about what resonated with me about her because, you know, and I think that's just uh, <laughs> the fact that I can't probably uh, is a testament to, you know, her being a good but not great character. Or at least protagonist. I still liked her, though. Kaylee Spaney killed this movie, though, just so you know. Katie Heron from Mean Girls. I remember, I remember her because she's Katie Heron, so I guess it's kind of technicality. E tier. Then we have Maxine. Maxine, I'll put in B tier. Maxine's great. I liked her in X also. In this film, again, doesn't really have as much to do. She kind of just fumbles around until the end of this film. Again, like her though. Mia Goth is great, so I'll put her in B. And then we have Jodie Comer from The Bike Riders. I'm gonna put her... Ah, I want to put her in A tier so bad. Ugh, I love Jodie Comer so much. She's so good, but I have to put her in B tier. Again, good character. One of the best parts of the movie. Her and Tom Hardy, best parts of this film. Jodie Comer is great. I like seeing her in this relationship with Austin Butler. This loose cannon, this wild card, and how she reflects off of that. Good stuff. And then we have the the one dude from Challengers. I'm gonna put him in A tier. I like him. This is the guy in the film that I think gets like shafted the most. Man, sucks to be him. Again, he's not perfect. He makes mistakes, but still. And then we have Cooper from Trap, the most recent film here. I'll put Cooper in C tier. I could put him higher also, but just, I don't know. I need to move faster on this video so it's not super long. Let's move a little quicker. Joy from Inside Out. I'm gonna put her in... 
Uh, honestly, also see it too. She doesn't have as much to do in this film, which is fine. It leans more on the other emotions. You could even say Joy's not the main protagonist of this film. She very much splits roles with the other emotions, which is good. You know, there's a little bit of ripple effect, but it's fine. Look at this guy from Challengers. Is he kind of an it protagonist? I, I think so. I'll still put him in C though. You know, I, I lied. That guy's not an S tier or A tier. Um, uh, is he as good as them too? Yeah, he is. He is. Okay. Moving on, Colt Seavers. I like him a lot. I'm gonna put him in A, a really fun character. Uh yeah, I enjoy this guy a lot. You know, catch me on the right day. I might put him in S tier. But for now, A tier makes sense. Johnny Knoxville from this baseball movie I called I saw, which is just a bunch of comedians. He's definitely going in who. Don't remember anything about this guy. And then we have Lupita Nyong'o as Sam in A Quiet Place. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first S tier. I'm just saying, she's an amazing character. Dare I say, the best character in A Quiet Place universe. Dare I say it? It's between her and the daughter from the first two films. You know, I don't know. She's just amazing. Lupita Nyong'o, best performance, hands down, in A Quiet Place universe. She's so good. Shows so much through just the conveying of the emotions. All she wants is a big pizza pie, and I respect that. Who doesn't want a big pizza, you know? Great character, love her to death. Ah, uh, Madam Webb. You know, is it crazy I'm gonna put her in E tier? Is it crazy I'm not gonna say she's in the bottom tier? Just saying. Ah, uh, dude, this girl's good. She's the best part of Taro, uh, but I can't put her higher than E. I thought she was good though. She's the best part of the movie, but even then, it just, I don't know, E tier, let's not waste time. Then we have Noah from uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh, I'm gonna put him in C tier. Noah's a cool character, I like him. Not as good as Proxima Caesar, doesn't have that lasting effect that Proxima Caesar had, that Caesar from the first film had, or even some of the human characters from the last two films, some of the villains. Still, I enjoyed him while I was there. Kinda lost his appeal, his flavor once I left, but still, liked him when I was there. And then we have Girl from If, uh, man. Imagine if this movie was better, D tier. Then we have Martin Freeman from Miller's Girl, the film where he's a teacher and Jenna Ortega wants to, you know, with him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. And then we have uh, Sydney Sweeney's character, sister, sister, uh, sister Sweeney from Immaculate. I'll put her in. I'll put her in C tier. Yeah, she's in C tier. She's she's a fine protagonist. She's fine. And then we have Kate from Twisters. I'm gonna put her in A tier. Daisy Edgar Jones, really good in this movie. Really good performance. And then we have Lee Harker, ladies and gentlemen. As I look at this list, she might be our next S tier. Oh, it's so tough. Right when I said S tier, I got second thoughts and I was like, maybe not. Maybe she's not S tier. But I like Lee Harker. Fine, she's not S tier. The more I thought about it, the more I like Kate more. Then we have a girl from Abigail. She's a lot of fun. She's not a lot of fun, um, but A tier, great character. Then we have Austin Butler from Bike Riders. Honestly, I'm gonna put him in uh, D tier. I don't know, kind of just uh, doesn't do enough as a character for me. Like I said, I think Tom Hardy, Joe Newcomer's characters, they kind of carry the weight of this movie. Austin Butler's fine when he's there, but can't tell you much about him after the fact. Then we have Poe from uh, Kung Fu Panda. I'll put him in C tier. You know, Jack Black's always gonna be fun. Poe's always gonna be fun. Doesn't really push the story forward, so I can't put him higher than that, but yeah. Ken Sato, ladies and gentlemen. This, without a doubt, I don't gotta think about it. This is our next S tier. If you haven't seen Ultraman Rising on Netflix, go watch that movie. It's fire. It's so good, trust me. Like that film a lot. Ken Sato, maybe my favorite new character from the year. Guy's a beast. Guy starts off, you know, a little cliche, a little into himself, but the journey he goes on of parenthood and accepting your place in the world, the responsibility is given to you, knocks down the park. Lisa Frankenstein, put her in C tier, you know, I enjoyed her. You know what? I might go B tier. I might put her higher. She's a fun character. Catherine Newton's great. Then we have Boy from Boy Kills World. Put him in uh, D tier. Uh, he was fine. He was okay. Tyler Owens from Twisters. He's an easy A tier. Love this character a lot. Glenn Pal Summer. The guy's crushing it. Good stuff. Then we have Jack uh, Delroy. I think that's his name. Don't quote me on that. He's a B tier protagonist. Then we have Monkey Guy from the Monkey Guy the movie. Put him, put him in C tier. Again, uh, enjoyed him as a character. Jake Gyllenhaal's guy from Roadhouse. Put him in D tier. I liked him when I was there, but again, can't tell you much after the fact. Same thing with Dakota Johnson from uh, Am I Okay the movie, and 
really unfortunately, same thing with Henry Cavill from The Gentleman of Unfortunate Events or whatever the movie's called. Then we got the two guys from Bad Boys. I lumped them together because they're kind of like one being for me. I don't know. They're kind of like cartoon characters of their older selves at this point. Put them also in D tier. As we wrap up this list, I got uh, the guy from Beekeeper, Mr. Beekeeper. Uh, e tier. Then we got the last two. These are the ones. That's the reason I put them last so I can get retention in this video. You like how I do that? Paul, honestly, is A tier. You know, Dune 2 getting, don't cancel me for saying this, getting slightly worse. The more I think about it, the more uh, it sticks with me. Not even because it's bad, it's just, I don't know, it just didn't stick with me the same way that I thought it would. The same way a lot of my favorite movies from past years have. And Paul's part of that. Gotta put him in A tier. Still a great character, but doesn't get to S. Furiosa, though, of course, gets to S. If I had to rank them, I would probably... I'd probably go like that if I had to rank them. Anya Taylor-Joy, fire actress, fire performance. It expands so much on her role from Fury Road. Love the relationship with her and Dementis. That's the list. Who is your favorite protagonist from the year 2024 so far? Hit subscribe. I'm trying to hit a bunch of subscribers. I'll talk to you later. Have a great night. Or day. I don't discriminate.